It's Shannon here from my code school and today I'm gonna, um, or this video is all about showing you how to connect your Code Kingdoms account, which is what we do lots of our coding on for Roblox and Minecraft, to roblox.com and Roblox Studio to make sure that your code can move from Code Kingdoms into Roblox and you can see your game come to life. So I'm about to explain how we're gonna go and do that. So first thing you need to do is, you need to make sure that you've got roblox.com open and you've also got a copy of Roblox Studio installed on your computer. So first of all, we're gonna to go to Roblox, uh, roblox.com. So if we just type in, I'm on it now, but if we typed in roblox.com, bring us to this page here. And you can either sign up for a new account if you haven't got one, or you can use your existing account to log in. So I'm gonna click log in here, and then I'm put my Roblox details in here. And it's really important that when you're logging into roblox.com and Roblox Studio, that you use the exact same username and password for both. Very, very important. So that's logged me into roblox.com. Now I need uh, to log into Roblox Studio. So if I look down here at the bottom of my screen, I've got a little blue square, which is Roblox Studio. If I click on that to open it up, uh, it should open up, there we go. I need to use the same username and password as I used for roblox.com. and it should log us in there. It's just taking a couple of ticks to do that, and then it will be in, which is great. Now, if we go back to roblox.com, which is here, roblox.world, well, it's updated here. This is my username, I'm logged in. Now, the other thing we need to do, we need to install a plugin, a Code Kingdoms plugin. Now, if you're at home, when you're in Code Kingdoms, and you download your file, which we'll do in a little bit, it will probably prompt you to download that into Roblox. Now, if it doesn't, your code coach can help you because uh, there's a link that we can go to, and I'll put this link in the notes for this video, but there's a link, and it's a Code Kingdoms plugin here, and we just click Install. But I've already installed it, so I, um, if I just click it, it'll probably say it's installed. No, okay. So you need to install that. But if it don't, you don't get prompted in Code Kingdoms, your code coach can help you with that uh, as well. All right. So that's logged me in. Now I'm gonna to go to Code Code Kingdoms. So I go to a new web browser here, and I type in, uh, so you'll type in, so I'm assuming you know how to log into this, sorry, because you've already, I've already sent a video on how to do that. So you'll know how to log in. All right, so let's say I go, I'm here and I go to Roblox, because which game you want to code? I'm going to code in Roblox. It's going to open up the interface for coding. This one, let's say I want to do Prison Escape. I start doing some code. Now, in order for us to download our code into Roblox Studio, we need to download our project. You also might notice up here in the top right hand side there, it says Studio Offline. Now our studio, Roblox Studio, won't come online until we've downloaded and opened a project. So what I'm gonna do, because I've already done some code in this project, I'm gonna download it. But normally we will do some code and then download our project. So I'll click Download Project. What that's gonna do, that'll open up a little, or download a little file on your computer. And you need to open that file, because that's a Roblox file. So we're just gonna click Open and that will automatically open it as you can see here in Roblox Studio. Now if you've got your plugin installed like we talked about and everything's connected, you'll probably get a little message up here, we'll just see how we go. And I'm gonna click play here. There's a message there, your project is linked. Oh, just missed that one, I was a bit quick on clicking the play. But it'll give you a message saying that your Roblox is connected to your uh, Code Kingdoms. And if you look over here on your Code Kingdoms, and here it now says Studio Online. Studio Online, which is pretty cool. All right, not that one, on this one. So now if I can click Stop, if I need to, oh, here it is. Your project is linked to your Code Kingdoms game. So that's the message that you wanna see. If you're not getting that, it's probably because you don't have the Code Kingdoms plugin installed in Roblox. Roblox. So we're gonna click Play, and it'll load our game that we've coded. Just take a few moments to do that. 
And then if I move forward, I think I can use my WASD or my forwards and backs. Now I'm meant to, I'm meant to jump over the, the lasers and avoid the lasers here. Oh, but if I don't, I'll explode. Yep, so there's our game working. Now if we update the code when I test it again, we'll have to uh, download it and upload it again, press stop, and then press play again. So that really is how we uh, connect our Roblox to our code kingdom. So a couple, few steps. Make sure you've opened up roblox.com and Roblox Studio. You've used the exact same username and login to log into both of them. Make sure the code kingdom's plugin is installed in Roblox as well, roblox.com. Uh, and you can get that in the link below this video where your code coach can help you with that. And often if you're new to code kingdoms, it'll pop up here and give you a direct link as well in this information at the top of your Code Kingdoms webpage. Uh, and you need to download your project, open that project in Roblox Studio. Then you should see a message all going well that you're connected, your Code Kingdoms in your Roblox Studio account are connected, and then your game should feed through as well. And you'll also see this message here at the top right, Studio Online, that means you're all connected up and everything should work like you want it to. So hopefully that's been of some help. Um, enjoy coding, have loads of fun. And I will chat to everyone soon. See ya.